driving into clouds right now and we do not see an end point. <laughs> This is the almond milk I use. All right guys, so I wanted to show you all my makeup products. I'm not like a huge makeup person. Like I don't, I don't really know that much about makeup and applying makeup and you know, it's something I've always wanted to learn, but I would say my makeup game has just gone up, just gone up, just like one level or something. I don't know. So I wanted to show you because I got some new products and I spent a lot of time like listening to the lady and hearing what she had to say. And I wound up like you know, getting a bunch of products. And for me, when I buy brand new product, that will last me like two years because I put on makeup like once or twice a week. That That is that. Sometimes I don't even put up, sometimes I don't even put on any makeup in a week. So I can last, I can make it last, last for me forever. I'm gonna show you everything that I use and you know, maybe it could help you in some way. And if you have any questions about the products, I'll just like put them in the description so that way you have everything that I use. And my, I would say my skin, you know, stays pretty nice. I don't know, I wash my face, I put this on my face every day, moisturizer. And you know, I think it's good to take care of your face 100%. Use good products that are going to be hydrating for your skin. I'm gonna show you guys what I use first. I use the Advanced Genifique Concentrate. Concentrate, concentrate, ah! Activator, oh, I think this is like in a different language, but it's a youth activating concentrate. Okay, so what I do is just put a little bit on my finger. A little goes a long way as such. And after that, I put on primer. So this is the primer I use by Lancome. You guys could see it, but it's prep and matte. It like works really, really nicely. A little goes a long way here, but it's just, I find that when I use a primer, it just sets my makeup a little more nicely, my eyeshadow, my foundation. And when I wasn't using a primer, my face was really blotchy. So I found that, you know, when I started using this, this changed the game for me. You know, if you guys have any suggestions on better ways to put this on, Feel free to let me know. And then this is the foundation I use by Lancome. Obviously, this is pretty much all Lancome. Not everything though, but pretty much. And I use the Tint Idol Ultra Wear right here. I do prefer a liquid foundation over a, hopefully that focused. Here we go, focused. So I use prefer a liquid foundation over a powdered for per me personally in my skin. So maybe someday I will use powder if I find something that I really, really love. But as of right now, I really enjoy the liquid. So and I, I grew up on liquid, honestly. My mom, you know, helped me with my makeup and when I got into it as a kid. And I'm really grateful for my mom. And she always got me liquid. And she showed me how to put it on and, you know, helped me. So, it's a little fun fact. But I can see I still have some mascara on, which is not the best when you're putting on makeup. You should be fully makeup fully off from the night before. So I need to get eye makeup remover. I just have face remover and I like try to like scrub my eyes. But obviously I need an eye makeup remover. Like that's serious. <laughs> I just noticed that. And then I use a concealer. I'm pretty sure it's a concealer. Yeah, long lasting under eye concealer. I just learned what concealer was, honestly. <laughs> like... Oh, who am I? I'm 24 and just found out what concealer was. That's something my mom never showed me. Like, maybe she doesn't even need it. I don't know. But I find that, you know, if you got bags under your eyes or just to, like brighten up your face, it's really nice. Mm -mm -mm. Hopefully that looks okay. I have a photo shoot and I'm hoping this looks okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Guys, I need to like watch makeup tutorials so that way I'm like, yes, this is how you do it. This is perfect. Okay, now on to the bronzer. This is how we do it. That's what I'm thinking in my head from <laughs> me saying that. So, oh yeah. So this is called Becca. Becca bronzer. Becca bronzer. 
and it's like a multiple colors i used to use one color just one single color and i found that i really like to have the multiple i feel like it's like a nice shine and my face definitely goes whiter when i put the foundation on but i don't hold a tan in my face really well so that's why i got a color that isn't as dark but the bronzer tanned you up a little bit that works for me and then I use like a little shimmer on my cheeks when I'm doing like photo shoots and stuff. The Urban Decay Naked Illuminated. And when you open it up, it looks like this. So pretty and so sparkly and so curly. So folks with it. Just put it right on my cheeks. And that's the facial portion. And then we're going to put on, well, I'm going to put on our wear, but you know, I feel like you're included in it. Some eyeshadow. I don't have an eyeshadow brush. It's something I need like ASAP. I I went to the store yesterday, which was just at the store. I would recommend the eyeshadow finger brush. I think that's best. This will have to do for now because it's all I got. All right, so I left you guys for a second because I wanted to put on liquid eyeliner. And it's actually in the other room, but it's just a L'Oreal brand. I probably could have done like a way better job for sure. I'm not really sure how to put on liquid eyeliner that well. I feel like there's a technique to it that I could learn. I'm always open to suggestions too if you guys have any. So I'm going to put this mascara on. I don't think... I'm going to move you guys back a little bit because I can't put it on with the mirror so far away. Just so you know, the mirror is right here um but you can watch me put it on if you want to completely up to you all right guys so there you have it this is my full makeup i can lower this a little bit so it's not like so much but this is it it's my photo shoot makeup for the day obviously nothing too crazy it didn't take me that long it took me about 10 minutes to do the whole thing and i oh for, i forgot to tell you my uh mascara is lancome drama as right here there we go that's it right there and uh, i really really like it i've been using it since high school and my mom got me onto this so I think it's really amazing and it makes your lashes really nice and really voluminous so that's my makeup and i'm going to put all my clothes together right now go pick up lauren and we're going to go to san diego guys we are literally driving into clouds right now and we do not see an end point like look out in the distance. like you Nothing. literally can't see anything where are we going we're going to san diego but we're like in a cloud Yeah, if you go around, you can get on that wall. Then like, I think we like? have to go that way. I think here is cool. Like, down over there. All right, we got Matt here today. and He's setting up. Looks like we're, like, going to shoot a movie or something out here. We might. <laughs> we might. We might shoot a movie. And I got Milo. You're doing great, baby. You're Does doing so, like you're doing so good, know. baby. <laughs> First look today, a little jumpsuit, it's pink, just got it, love. All right guys, so I just wanna show you look number two. Jacket and I did a no bra, so it's something really, really different from what I'm used to, but I really, really like the shots and I can't wait to show you. But they had like a um, festival or something going on, so there's a bunch of vendors and everything. Wow, it's so beautiful. So pretty. Oh, I love this spot. This is really pretty. Should we go down there? Or is there a better place? There's another place. Um, we can. Let me just show you the spot first though. It looks like we can get food here too. Yeah, this place right there is pretty good. They have good burgers. Amazing. And this is where Matt met his wife. Mm -hmm. oh, I love this shopping center. So will I meet my husband here? Possibly. Oh, I meet my husband. You met, is that him? No. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Are you into cycling? Because you guys are made for each other. <laughs> My stomach is like growling so aggressively. Really? Yeah, like really aggressively. But... Watch out now. <laughs> now, you, now we feel how Victoria's Secret models feel. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're all done. This was my last look. This bikini it is so gorgeous out here. I've never been to this part of San Diego. Extremely grateful. My 
Carlo made it through. I'm really grateful that he's here and got to, you know, experience another part of California, whether or not he knows where he is. Just something different. Change the scenery. So grateful. We're gonna get some food here at Nikki Rotters. Rot Rotten. Wait, is this called Nikki Rotten? So it's a bar and burger joint. So I'm definitely gonna get a burger. Are you getting a burger? No. Matt, are you getting a burger? Of course. Hey, me too. I'm getting a burger too. Look at this view though. Oh, I know, my teeth. <laughs> this view. Oh, you're, you're too much. Okay. It's got a bacon avocado burger. How good Do you guys this is. Do you right now? Um, you want to order sweet potato fries? Go look. Just give us an order. You, you want know to what? Order? Okay. She'll, she'll regret it if okay. she don't. No worries, I'll put it in right now. <laughs> Thank you. That looks so good. It does. Wait, how did you get tater tots? I ordered them. Doug, smart move. And you got a salad? A salad? The healthiest one here. Three hours later. What's up guys? So I am back in Los Angeles and I just drove six hours today like a freaking boss. So got it done and it was absolutely amazing. My shoot with Matt. So if you're interested in booking a photographer, Matt lives in San Diego, but he travels up, you know, up to Los Angeles and back. So if you're interested, check out Matt. Like I've worked with Matt in the past multiple times. He's absolutely hilarious. He'll make you laugh the entire time. He has like one of the best sense of humor I've ever met from somebody and like couldn't have asked for a better experience. And Milo is such a trooper the entire shoot. Like he's a blessing. He did amazing Milo. He's sitting right here. He did absolutely amazing. And I'm so grateful for him. Matt loved him. And I'm really excited to see the shots. So once I get them, I'll be able to share them with Instagram and maybe with you guys. If I get them in time to post this video, I'll share them. But I am just feeling incredibly grateful for life, for the people in my life, for my friendships, for you know, creating the life that I want to live. And it's so important. I was talking about talking a little bit with my mom, just you know, creating a better version of myself every day is what I strive to do and what I encourage my friends to do as well, like the people I surround myself with. It's important to love the person that you are, feel good in the skin that you're in, because you literally wake up and go to sleep with yourself every single day. You're in your body 24-7. So, you know, loving the person that you are is so crucial in you know, everyday life and you know, people could feel that from you. So I am incredibly grateful for everything and you know, I'm just feeling really happy. Like I'm always really happy and really positive. People think that's kind of crazy, but like, like Sam, how do you stay so positive? How do you stay so happy? And you know, I just think of all the good things in life. All the, I don't really see the bad, I see the good. And if there's, you know, I know bad is the contrast to good. You know, you wouldn't have good without bad, but like, you know, I just take everything as an experience, as a learning lesson, as a reason for it happening, and I move on if anything were to happen, and you know, just always find ways to feel good and love the person that I am along the way, because you know, I've been through some really rough shit, and you know, I've been recreating myself every day, and I come on here very vulnerably, very honest with everything that I've gone through, and you know, if you guys ever have questions about that, I'm happy to answer any of the questions that you have because like I'm somebody who's really, really honest and transparent and you know, I'll show you every part of me that is makes up who I am. And you know, I love who I am. Okay, well I am going to I think go to the gym. I I'm gonna leave him for a little bit. It's always a tough thing. But I didn't work out yesterday because it was just a long day. But I, it, it means a lot to me to get my workout and I like to work out at least four times a week. So today's Tuesday, I wanna get in my workout today and I wanna film my workout because I could film at Equinox after 5 p.m. Got the memo that I could film after 5 p.m. So I'm gonna go there and film and get in a really good workout, get in the zone, drink some water because I feel pretty dehydrated. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at the gym. I wanna show you guys new workout outfit that I got from Forever 21. I think it's lit, lit, lit. Super cute, really, really comfortable. And Milo's ready to go for a walk. I'm gonna go for a walk before I film and go to the gym and do all that fun stuff because I feel like if he had, goes on a nice walk, goes to the bathroom, super chilling, then I'll feel better during my workout knowing that he is really comfortable. <laughs> all right guys, so I'm gonna go for this walk. All right guys, so I'm trying something different today. I see when the white light is like at nighttime, I feel like I'm like a ghost. I don't know, but to me, it's just not a vibe. 
Anyways, I put a bandana in my hair today. I don't know if I'm feeling it, if I'm not feeling it, but I'm gonna go with it because it keeps my hair back. And yes, I have these two little pieces, but I can easily just go like this. Like, it's easy when I'm working out, but for just like cuteness purposes, I typically like to go to the gym feeling cute, looking cute for myself, for nobody else. I'm not trying to impress anybody else but myself, but it feels good to look good in the gym and feel good in your skin, so. That's that, and uh, we're finally getting to the gym. See you there. I wanna feel alive, feel the blood inside my veins. I wanna slow the time where you slow it down with me. I think I need to find what it means to be okay. It's broken by design, can't live life without some pain, yeah. And I know I'll keep running, no, I'll be something you won't see me coming I grow, I keep punching, I grow, I keep hunting No, I need nothing, supposed to be something so close to me Jumping yeah. up in the worst kind of way You took all of my time and didn't give it back to me Wasn't enough, and I don't know what to say You wanna fall in love, but don't wanna feel the pain And I'm so low, cause I don't know if I'm alone if I'm unknown, but I won't go, no I won't go You ain't never gonna slow me down, cause I feel alive now I didn't feel this way But with this kind of mind I will figure out my lane yeah. It's the highs and the lows The change and the woes All the fame on the coast And the pain no one knows I want the time just to slow My mind's feeling low Say I'm fine but I know That I might be alone You fell in love In the worst kind of way You took all of my time And didn't give it back to me Wasn't enough And I don't know what to say You wanna fall in love but don't wanna feel the pain And I'm so low Cause I don't know If I'm alone